Okay, how's it going, everybody? Uh, uh, I just finished The Impending Crisis by David Potter. This is basically Winner of the Pulitzer Prize, I believe 1977. This is a fantastic book, uh, about 600 pages. This is a survey of events leading up to the firing on Fort Sumter, starting with the signing of the Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo and the Mexican War. And basically, it's very in-depth, it's very detailed, it's very political, and really, it all goes to slavery. I know Shelby Foote's like, oh, they weren't fighting over slavery. Fuck him. Yes, they were. It all, it all went back to slavery. The sectional divide happened... I mean, it was always there, but they were able to talk, talk around the slavery issue. With the signing of the treaty and, you know, all that territory that came into the country, the big question was, is it going to be slave or is it going to be free? Which one? And it became more and more of an issue, more and more divisive, and, and just little things kept ratcheting up the intensity. Dred Scott, John Brown, the railroad situation. Okay, is it going to run through the south? Is it going to run through the north? The formation of the Republican Party. Uh, a lot of talk about oh, Kansas, Nebraska. People, I mean, there, there it was. So, yes, slavery as it related to land claims, political posts, money, control, power, but it still went back to a divide between an industrial north and an agricultural south, and of course the moral situation was, I mean, let's just face it, you know, they, they outlawed the African slave trade in 1808. It, it's been a problem, it, they had a problem with it, they didn't know what to do about it, and uh, it became an increasingly more and more divisive issue. And I don't think you're going to find a more in-depth book about the events leading up to the firing on Fort Sumter than, than this one. And uh, I heard Gary Gallagher talk about it, and that's what made me look into it. And I'm really glad I got it. I'm going to read uh, uh, some more history that is listed in this book by Winthrop Jordan. Anyway, get into literature, get into reading, turn the TV off, and read. Look up words you don't know. It's not like the old days when you had to open up a huge fucking dictionary and it took a million years. Now you can look up a word on your phone. Boom, snap. There you go. You know what the word means. Comity. All right, what does that mean? Uh, nations working together to achieve a common goal. Boom, back to the sentence. You can get your reading done. I'm telling you, it'll improve your life. I'm not a motivational speaker or anything like that. But I do believe in the power of literature to just make your life a whole lot better. And this is a fantastic book. If you're into Civil War literature, get a hold of this. I think I got mine on thriftbooks.com. Great. All right, that's it. Happy reading and peace be with you. All right.